we present four stages in our research investigation into what we call graspable user interfaces. In this informal study, we asked users to separate the bricks by color as quickly as possible. Notice the high degree of parallel hand movements. Both hands are constantly in motion. In this sorting task, tactile feedback is used to grab and manipulate dominoes while visually attending to other regions of the workspace. Our everyday skills and knowledge about the physical properties of the dominoes can be used, such as moving a row of dominoes by squeezing only the two end dominoes. This next segment shows a user performing the act of moving, stretching, and rotating the physical square, all happening in parallel. While in our current interfaces, like McDraw, force us to work strictly in a sequential nature. Here the user is working with a flexible curve, semantically loading their hands and using very sophisticated finger manipulations to quickly match the target curve. Using Macromind Director as a prototyping tool and working on the active desk, we envision how bricks can be attached to virtual objects. The bricks can be reused and recycled. When you have two bricks attached to the same virtual object, you can perform actions such as stretching the object. Or since we are sensing both position and orientation information, we can deform the virtual object. Here you see our working prototype running on the active desk. We are using a flock of birds, 60 input device with two receivers as our prototype bricks. In the simple drawing application, a transparent prototype shape is attached to one brick. Clicking on a button on the brick causes an object to be created in the workspace. The second brick can be used independently or in conjunction with the first brick to scale objects or specify a rotation value. By dunking a brick into compartments in the physical tool tray, new functions can be assigned to the brick such as switching shapes or color attributes for the virtual objects. Finally note that the system allows the user to specify multiple attributes in parallel such as the position, rotation, and scale factors for the triangles. The fourth stage, which we are currently working on, is to ensure that the BRICS and graspable user interface concepts will work in real-world commercial applications. We modified Alias Studio, a high-end 3D modeling and animation program and used it as our test bed. Currently, two bricks can be used to simultaneously edit the position, orientation, and scale factors for points along a curve. In summary, we believe that the affordances of the physical handles, what we call bricks, are inherently richer than what the virtual handles afford through conventional direct manipulation techniques. These physical affordances include facilitating two-handed interactions, spatial caching, and parallel position and orientation control.